Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash that like button and subscribe. If you'd like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. And uh, yeah, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. At the end of the message, at the end of the message, I will give a shout out to all of you who have recently subscribed. Like I said that I would, but we're going to get into your message for the rest of July to see what the energies are, all that. And as you can see, photograph card is already out looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. Okay. So July, there's definitely going to be someone, don't know who, uh, maybe we'll find out who's going to be missing you, reminiscing about things you guys did together, places you guys went, um, or even just be curious, okay, about you, like what you're up to, what you're doing, that kind of thing. Now, making new memories, hmm, there could be this desire that somebody here wants to, or is at least thinking about that, like creating new memories with you. All right, let's get into this. See what's going on with this person. Even if I know who it is, what the deal is, what they want, all that jazz. Okay, let's take a look. Okay. All right, so somebody here doing a lot of thinking. Somebody here doing a lot of thinking. Keeping to themselves. Looking at, I don't know, looking at you in, your, in their mind's eye. And now they're just telling me Gemini maybe. This, somebody who's like thinking about making some kind of decision. Okay, let's see. King of Cups showing up here. Okay, could be an, a water sign. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Let's see. Very much, I feel like there's no communication. Thinking about compromising. This person is thinking about compromising. Or, uh, like, it's they're just being very, like, intuitive. Like, doing some inner reflection. Thinking about, it's just a lot of, like, thinking about things and not seeing anything. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Thinking about a turning point, about some kind of change and making some love offer to you. Okay. Hmm. So that Wheel of Fortune. I hear, I hear that there is someone, masculine or feminine, keep that in mind. But I hear there is someone here who's thinking about how lucky they were with you in their life. Okay. And, uh. I just want to call out somebody, give a shout out to a Genevieve. I don't know why, but maybe this is for you, Genevieve. Um, but anyway, there, there's definitely a love offer. This person is thinking about making some kind of change. The tide is turning. It would be, they're thinking it would be in their favor to um, propose or make some kind of, so it's all, listen. It's stemming from the two of swords. So this is all thoughts. Okay. Thinking. They may also be thinking about. Who is giving you a love offer as well. There might also be this thing of. Is there somebody else in your life Virgo? Okay. Just hearing. And I feel like, like with the two of swords. It, it's a very intuitive message. You know. It's a very intuitive card. And what the King of Cups is generally not is generally not logical. They're more emotionally driven. So the King of Cups tends to have more of this feeling thing going on, right? Thinking about their feelings, how they feel about you, how how they're like what the feelings are. And they tend to have they well, I should say they tend to tap into an M empathy at times the king of cups is in the upright okay but not commute there's no communication here and i feel like it's more along the lines in july that this person is going to be heavily thinking about making some kind of change with with you okay because of the photograph looking at your f your photos missing you wanting to make some kind of new new memories let's take a look here 
Oh, wow. Another Knight of Wands. I mean, there's definitely a lust energy, passion energy connected to you for this person. Love and lust is what I'm hearing. It's a mixture. Love and lust. Okay, let's see. What else can you tell Virgo about this situation here? Let's see the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Queen of Swords is, is a card of, can be a card of divorce. This person could be divorced. Um, it, it's also a card of someone who shoots from the hip, straight from the hip. I feel like, I feel like the King of Cups, is, and I feel like the Queen of Swords is your energy. I, I feel like the King of Cups is looking at the Queen of Swords and thinking about something maybe that was said or something like by the Queen of Swords, meaning you, something maybe that was said and thinking about how you changed something. Okay, or how something changed by something that you say. So it could be something that you've already said or something that you're going to say to this King of Cups. Okay. There's a decision that this person is going to have here on the table. They're, and so it's they're either going to have to make a compromise or make some kind of decision about some kind of truth that you're going to tell them right does that mean you're going to have communication no i don't feel like i don't feel like it it's hard it's so hard to say i feel like it's more that they want you to talk to them it's like they want you or they're 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 thinking about you and, and imagining something that you say to them or some kind of truth. You might have said to them a, a really long time ago, like ages ago. Think, and so they're in that contemplation mode about something that was said here. Okay. All right. Anything else? Anything else for Virgo? Okay. Two cups. Wow. Wow. So the only thing that tells me that this could be like a reuniting of two people is the fact that the photograph card reveals that someone is missing is is missing you, okay? And so I think we're going to have to go with that. Someone's going to be missing you and wanting to reconnect here. Maybe even just as friends and nothing more or to have like a new love start with you. All right. I do feel like this person is extreme. They do feel very lucky when it comes to you, or at least they will. And there is this element of having affection and romance and also having physical lust for you as well. Okay. Lusting after your photos, loving your photos, missing you, wanting to make new memories, all that jazz is going on. All right. Let me see. Is there anything else Virgo needs to know? That was happening with this person. Okay, they're very stingy. I will say that this person is very stingy. They don't. They're not like a big open opening opener upper. <laughs> I make words on this channel. I make up my own words. This person is very possessive and doesn't let go. And that's the energy that they're showing with going forward in July. They're also blocking so that you can't get in. And not revealing they're they're very self-protective but they're also very protective of you okay hmm i just feel like when i look at this this four of pentacles i just feel like this person is like if you try to pry i feel like they're gonna spin that pentacle like whip it off whip it out off out to you uh, for trying to prize almost like a defensive move maneuver it's almost like being at the ready like don't try to get in don't ask me any questions don't ask me what's going on that's their thing 
you know if you were trying to ask questions or ask them things i don't feel like they're going to reveal really what's going on within them i just feel like they want your love they want you to give it they want you to give everything to them but they also understand that they got to give to get however because of this four of pentacles here like they don't want to lose you but they don't want you to get inside of them they don't want you to know them they're being they're going to be very protective of themselves going forward all right let's take a look at you yeah so the month the rest of july i do feel like this person is going to be doing a lot of contemplation a lot of processing some things here This person, I feel like, is a little bit of a romancer, too. And they, they are a bit lust-filled lust as well, okay? I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but understand that the knights are in and out, right? And the two of cups it could be like a friends with benefits. They might even just be like, well, they'll settle for just a friends with benefits kind of thing. Um... <laughs> but they don't want to reveal anything within them. So, you know, whatever. I see you with the Four of Swords. So I see you being pretty much withdrawn at peace. You might even be praying for this person, praying for revenge or praying that they heal or praying that they'll return or just praying for yourself, um, depending on what kind of Virgo you are. But I feel like I see you going into recovery mode and definitely being silent. Battle, I'm hearing the battle has ended. You're retreating, withdrawn, at peace, saying your prayers at night, meditating. Um, just being at peace. I see you being at peace in July. Recovering from a heartbreak. That's what the Four of Swords is. Wow, judgment, oh my gosh. Some of you are praying that this person will have a wake-up call or an awakening about themselves or about a relationship or about this four of pentacles where they don't let anybody in. They're just distant. They keep their distance. Maybe praying for healing for them so when they go forward in their future, they won't they'll be have a healthy relationship whether with you or someone else but judgment is a card of like opening up and it's also a card of reconciliation it's it's a card of it's a it's a card of looking at past deeds and reconciling those past deeds and asking for forgiveness on the bad deeds on the ones that were hurtful it's a card of triumph It's hoping, it's like you sitting here praying that this person will have clarity, final clarity, come to a final decision, a wake-up call, figure out what their life purpose is, and if, if you are going to be a part of that or not. Not asking and not waiting, but praying for clarity. And judgment feels like, yeah, it's a total wake-up call. Okay. You have a victory mindset in July. You have a victory mindset. I'm hearing you're doing the right thing by, um, how can I say this? By working on your healing. That's the right path for you. Staying focused on your healing, Virgo. And just with the four swords sting focused on your your rest your recovery and renewing your soul and staying in solitude right if for however long right if three weeks a year whatever however long it's going to take right um you might be praying that this person will come back into your life in 
a healthy way, but I have to tell you that I I don't it's an, I just feel like this is this temperament of your of your person here. Their temperament is to just be a bit selfish, a bit stingy. That's just kind of how they are. And maybe you need to ask yourself if that's okay with you or not. Okay? I feel like you might be seeking clarity as well. And a wake-up call for yourself. Uh, taking a look at yourself. The judgment card's about accountability. And taking accountability for your own actions and your own decisions. You know, I mean, if you feel like you're in a relationship that you felt like you didn't have any choices. I mean, did you really not have any choices? I mean, did somebody hold a gun to your head and force you to stay with them? I, that might be a wake-up call for you. Where did you make your decision? I mean, if you were manipulated by another person, or this person in particular, it's not your fault for trusting but as soon as you started to get some red flags or to s or some signs, what was going on within you that caused you to doubt yourself? Did this person give you reassurance that these red flags weren't happening? Was it because you truly wanted to believe? Because you were highly attached in maybe an anxious kind of way? You know, and, and I'm not saying that you were. I'm just saying that there's, there's a judgment even on yourself where you get a wake-up call within your healing as well and look how you you come out in this winner's circle this winner's position as far as recovery as far as being back up on the horse in july or at least beginning to feel like you you get some recognition and you even get some good news too that comes to you for some of you, I will say some of the good news for you is maybe a sense of vindication that um, this person is not letting you go just yet. I feel like you might get a sign of some sort, some kind of vindication that this person has not fully... Or is not fully let it, letting you go. Despite this. And it's like I said. The four of pentacles is a card of like. Holding on. Somebody holding on tightly. So kind of like. It's an energy of like. Someone holding on tightly. So that you don't go anywhere. But while they have you there. You're not allowed to speak. <laughs> you're not allowed to speak up. You're not allowed to ask questions. So it's a, it's a hostage situation. Yikes. Feels like a hostage hostage. They they take they take hostages. <laughs> That's pretty extreme and I don't know if we want to go into all that, but you might feel that way about them. And that they're still holding on or still missing you or looking at your photos because they can't let you go, but yet they don't want to change. I can tell you that in July, I don't see I see the potential for change, but potential is not good enough. Potential is not enough, okay? And and I also see, but I do see also, as I was going to say, you you do have change that you're in potential mode with. Where th So there's, the wheels are starting to roll a little forward here. The wheels are starting to move forward a little bit, but like, yeah, you're still going to have some moments of anxious feelings or you might be going through some sleepless nights or maybe you have been you might be going through some maybe you currently are just kind of waking up in the middle of the night or sleeping for like a few hours some of you might be in some shock um i feel like um some of you might be up at night and sleeping during the day going forward that energy might might happen sleeping more during the day you're going through something sure uh, but I love it temperance is here so I feel like 
the angels around you there's peace peace will come okay in the midst of your your struggle and it's more of a mental struggle you might feel stabbed in the back or even like in your head like trying to make sense of things or or you know you might have like your shoulders might feel a little tight your muscles might feel tight all in the upper body area maybe some headaches you might be just waking up with headaches or some migraines or you know things like that this is all like the the northern chakra area some of you might need to get some acupuncture to help you with something anyway so temperance is here okay so this is good this is this is a message to me that um you need to have patience and i'm hearing you need to take everything in moderation and have some self-control okay things will come back into balance some of you might actually go see a pharmacist mix up some elixir or something to help you with some headaches or some stress or you might hit the local tavern and just have a few drinks just to kind of help you out a little bit <laughs> or the liquor store i'm not saying that's the answer to everything but you know you do what you got to do for whatever you're dealing with here and i don't know why i feel like you're dealing with someone or something tragic because it just be i feel like there's some kind of split because somebody will be missing you do you know what i mean so something let me see if i could ask what what might have happened in the past where it will cause somebody to be missing you because you're obviously not in contact with each other you guys may not even there might be some blocking you may not even have access to each other what happened in the past all right king of wands significant hmm masculine or feminine could have been another commitment that somebody was in <clears throat> or a marriage fire sign hmm and I'm seeing loneliness or isolation from that marriage or commitment or relationship or whatever hmm all right six of swords i'm um, sorry eight of swords possibly some cheating or deception in regards to a past thing now that could be on your side that could be on their side that could be some i feel like it's somebody else either the person you were dealing with either got cheated on It is possible there was some kind of third party situation that occurred in the past that caused some kind of split. Uh, you know, it's hard it's hard to say exactly. There's a Virgo energy there too. It's also Taurus. It was some kind of deception. Somebody did something deceptive, kept it to themselves, didn't say anything or didn't tell you something. Or there was someone on your side that did that. And this caused some kind of split here. Okay. It, it had an effect. Or it's having an effect on a relation, a current relationship right now. It's, it's, it's having an effect. Maybe it could be somebody messed around on your person and they're, they've been traumatized by that. It's had an effect on your relationship and that's caused some kind of split. I did see the Three of Swords. But you have the Ace of Cups here. So you're being given a gift in July that's connected to emotional fulfillment it's connected to a new baby or relationship proposal or marriage a potential new feeling where you feel like your cup runs over now i don't know that that's so much coming from 
the person here, I do feel like it's a gift of grace that's coming from up above. It almost feels like a reprieve. It almost feels like a blessing that comes to you that lights you up in the midst of turmoil, right? In the midst of some type of turmoil that you might be feeling or stress or anxiety. Or, well, it feels like it's a healing thing. Some kind of healing healing thing that that gives you a sense of relief right it's like i feel like you feel parched like your soul your soul feels parched and then you know spirit brings you this gigantic glass of water and water represents healing emotional healing and water represents like it's it's life-giving you know, so I feel like the message here is whatever's going on in this situation here, as far as you, definitely some ups and downs going forward in July, but spirits got your back or God, whomever, you're going to pull through something here, whatever this is. It may not be as devastating as I'm making it sound. I mean, it's like Hallmark 101 here on my channel. It may just be like, ah, you're going through something and you're, you're trying to deal with something. And you know something? Everybody's, everybody's got something. Okay. Everybody's got something. But as far as this other person goes, yes, I do see they're going to be having a sense of longing, missing you, thinking about some type of change or what they need to do, weighing things out making some kind of decision in regards to your relationship or at least thinking about it okay at least it, they'll at least be thinking about it in july which i know you're just probably like yeah well they can think their way all the way down the road if they want like it's giving something some thought about some kind of change And I feel also like giving some type of thought to what's going to benefit them, what's going to be in favor for them as far as them missing you. But I will say they, they, they do sit with an energy of feeling or f having felt, felt or do feel very lucky. I'm hearing to have your truth. your total honesty, your intentionality. Okay, whatever that means. Let's take a look at your messages of love. Okay, you do have here and now your true love is already a part of your life. So I feel like Virgo, stop and smell the roses. Stop and take a look around. Who is your true love? You have to ask yourself, is this person your true love? Or did you think they were your true love? Is there somebody else in your life that's kind of around you now or going forward will be? Um, friendship. Wow. So they're saying it's a friend. There's a friend who who is your true love. I mean, if you don't have any friends, could be your, your, your puppins or your kittens. For some of you, that could be a message there. Someone or, or a pet. <laughs> I know it's a reach, but I feel like there's someone here. It could be a, an actual human friend who is a true love for you. And and so I don't know if the, I don't it, it could be this person, but I think waited out. I feel like I'm hearing waited out. And your intuition here. You already know the answer you seek. All right, so here's the biggest message here. Do not, whatever you do, second guess yourself right now. Don't second guess yourself. Don't gaslight yourself. Be absolutely truthful and honest with yourself and maintain that. Okay, balance. 
One person is giving too much in this relationship. So somebody might have overgiven, gave too much. And there's a call here for balance. Sitting right on temperance, which represents balance. Maybe your intuition will tell you that you gave too much or another person gave too much. But why? the reason why people give too much in a relationship is because they're either seeking validation or they're trying to rescue someone. Or they're, yeah, seeking validation or trying to rescue somebody. You have healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting right now. So, Virgo, if you were the one that was trying to rescue a project or someone in your life, trying to help heal them from their denial about things, not your job, babe. Not your job. Unless you're a therapist and you're getting paid for it. You are never obligated to sacri sacrifice yourself for another adult who needs rescuing or help. You are obligated to sacrifice yourself for young children, <laughs> for your young children, or if you have grandchildren, because you're the adult, right? But another adult, they have, they have agency. They have to be able to reconcile themselves sacrifice themselves for change their changes so perhaps some old wounds or childhood issues caused you to overgive in the relationship that might be something for you to look at and and them too they could have been overgiving to try to keep you in in a particular place sometimes that happens not saying that this is the case but there's something here that needs to be looked at in regards to overgiving. All right, one more. Okay, fate. This is a destined partnership. Wow. So whenever I see that card, especially in the context of all these other cards and the messages I'm getting, there was a lesson here to be taught to both of you. And a lesson here to be learned about the inner self that's the biggest message sometimes people are you know like like a therapist doesn't ever ask why did my patient come into my life i mean it's obvious the patient came into their life because they were seeking therapy and they were getting paid for it right but sometimes people will come into our lives not because we only because we need to learn something but Sometimes it will come into our lives because we need to teach them something. We need to, and, and there's also too a saying that I heard, I'm not here to teach you uh, love, I'm here to love you. I'm, 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 I forget how it goes now, I just messed it up. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. It's such a beautiful phrase. Sometimes just loving someone is how we teach people to love. Hold on, I'm going to find it. Oh, I'm not here to teach you. I'm here to love you. Okay? Maybe that is something that needed to be expressed to this person, your person, from your end. Not for you to teach them lessons, but for you to, to just love them. Because the best lesson to be taught is set through example. And did you do that? You probably did. Did they do that? They probably did. But I feel there might be an energy here of two very broken people who were trying to love one another and recognize that, but maybe still both in their ego in some way, both struggling. But I can honestly say with this other person here and you here with the Four of Swords, this is an energy of not really communicating very well about truthful things right vulnerability creates bonds sacrifice is is in love is what creates bonds and vulnerability as well so that might have been lacking to some degree and it's going really deep so let's move on to the next messages but i just kind of feel like there's definitely something here in regards to, you know, and when I see photograph, you could be missing this person as well. But they will, they are too. They will be too. 
and definitely thinking about things and you know processing and if that's what they need to do that's what they need to do let them let people do what they need to do but speak your truth be honest be open you don't have to be mean but be direct okay so air sign is showing up here gemini libra aquarius that represents the intellect challenges making a decision working on inner healing okay i know some of you are like you know i've been working on that inner healing for a long time it's just tired of it and you know what i think sometimes the f the best way to fast track your inner healing is to start accepting your flaws because i feel like when you're working on your inner healing without accepting your flaws you're you're definitely like running uphill trying to change the past or trying to change your your flaws i mean i feel like if you just accept them first that will kind of release them i don't feel like you need to get your hands in and remold them i feel like you need to let them go You do have liar. Be careful of someone sneaky. Hmm. We're not going to touch that. I think you know what that is. Oh, pets. Pets are... A pet will be significant. Pets are very healing. They're very therapeutic. If you don't have a pet, maybe go get a pet. Go rescue a dog. <laughs> if you're going to be a rescuer, Virgo, you're going to be that nurse or that doctor. You want to rescue. If that's your intention, go rescue a pet give that pet your current love you have some you have love some love all love whatever left in you and it's bounced back to you and give it to a pet if, if you already have one yeah start loving up on your pet <laughs> very therapeutic very healing i recommend all right there's distance between you and your partner physically or emotionally distant okay what else All right, so July, like I said, I felt like July, there was a lot of stuff going on as far as processing things and healing. The Mercury retrograde that's happening in August, I feel like is going to bring um, someone back after communication issues or reviewing everything, or it could be you returning or both of you returning. Or somebody else, okay? We're just going to keep that open here. But I do feel like that Mercury retrograde that's in August is going to bring a return. Not for all of you, but definitely for some. Something to do with August. All right, let me get a couple extra messages here. What else does Virgo need to hear? Okay, I have a two of cups again. Falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship, forgiveness and the ending of challenges, exchanging gifts, don't give up on people you love or not giving up on people you love. I don't know if that's an advice for you or not. You also have the Empress. Time to take action. Give birth to your dreams. Creative projects will be very successful. Abundance and prosperity is coming to you now. And look. She's sitting there with like a little baby unicorn. <laughs> Nurture. The Empress represents nurturing, you guys. Healing. I love that. I love the Empress. And look, you also have your card, the Nine of Pentacles. Exploring the fruits of your labors. Hard work that has led to a luxurious life. Buying yourself something special. Little retail therapy. Never hurt anybody if you're going through it. Happily and successfully self-employed and enjoying your solitude. Or learning to enjoy your solitude. In July. I know it's material things. But sometimes a brand new pair of red heels really fixes everything. It really does. <laughs> Enough for the guys. Well, maybe for the guys. 
or you know whatever guys like to do i'm not a guy i don't know what fixes guys maybe going to the gym or doing something but i just feel that so the nine of pentacles represents you know physical material things and buying yourself something special give yourself a gift Pra uh, praise yourself reward yourself for all your hard work and effort you know it takes two to tango sometimes things don't work out and look at the energy that you put in and reward yourself for a good job done or the best that you could do uh, were able to do this person they probably thought they were doing the best that they could do and put in the energy that they thought was good enough for them but it's not your job to point that out or fix it maybe you do sometimes that's a virgo trait you know you can't look a lot of people get irritated with virgos not all but a lot of people do because virgos are pretty blunt or just to the point they can see right through things like virgos have a, an innate ability to just cut through the clouds and see things truly as they are you know it's all in virgos delivery sometimes you know given a truth sometimes it can cut a certain way uh, there's some virgos who are like no nah, i'm not very i'm not harsh in criticism but virgos get a bad rap for criticism and and nobody really understands that yeah virgos maybe need to be a bit more diplomatic in their delivery but nobody really understands that the reason why virgos give a criticism even if it's constructed is because they see so much potential and greatness in the person that they, they just want to help them heal or be better and, and to strive to find their best self, right? Even when Virgo is <laughs> probably not as perfect as they think others should be. And that's Virgo's downfall. The, the only thing is when Virgos, Virgos are good if they're going to criticize art. Are they going to try to, if they're a physician and they're just going to criticize a new surgical tool or try to figure out a way to improve things? When it comes to people, I, I do feel like Virgos, it's tough at times for them to, f they forget that they got to deliver with love. And, and, but you can't really beat yourself up too much if you're that Virgo, because there's some people who are so ex extensively sensitive that even if you deliver it with love, they still take offense. I mean, you just got to be you. So figure out where you got to weigh it. <laughs> right? This is a long reading tonight. I hope you guys don't mind. All right, let's take a look at the Chinese signs. You and or your person or none of you. All right, Virgos, Chinese signs. If you don't know your Chinese sign, like I always say, Google it, look it up. I suggest looking at your Chinese sign, learning uh, that other facet about yourself. All right, so year of the dragon, year of the dog, year of the rat, year of the rabbit year of the goat year of the pig year of the monkey year of the ox all right there's that okay oh and they just said one more year of the horse they said grab one more year of the horse all right let's take a look and see what do we got here so taurus leo pisces all right, you guys, if anybody's in Aries or has Aries in their chart, go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. I, ju I just uploaded the Aries reading for the next two weeks. If you want to check that out? All right, 63, 83, 41, 73, 15. Remember, these could be birth dates, ages, like your birth, ages, our day of birth, 80, 72. 47, 33, 55, 53, 12, 20, 31, 10, 27, 5. Okay. Someone's last name is Moore. I just heard Moore. M-O-O-R-E. Moore. And then, oh, we have a more. So somebody might speak Spanish or use the, the term or the words, a more. 
Um, I'm hearing someone is uses the word zany. Someone says you're zany. <laughs> you're zany. We have Noel. Uh, someone's in Italy or is Italian. Okay. Um, July through September. I'm sorry, July through December. Very significant time period in regards to this reading. July through September. I keep saying September. July through December will be a very felt time period. Very felt. Like significant. Like me, you, you will feel very impressed upon. Things will be very important, they're saying, between July and December. A very important time period. Okay. Somebody's near a barn or has a house that's like a barn or in the barn. I'm hearing Nebraska. I'm hearing Willie or William. Someone's in Missouri. All right. Somebody works in the ER. I heard Larry. Someone's name is Larry. Brianna. I think I said that yesterday. Did I say Brianna yesterday? I think I did. Okay, something happened on Monday. Very significant. Very important. They're saying, don't forget about Monday. Don't forget Monday. Past Monday. Lauren. I'm hearing Lauren. Bernice or Bernie. Marnie. Rhea. Sorry for the quietness. Okay. So we have the initial B. We have A. We have N. We have R. M. We have E. Oh, Rain. Someone's name Rain. We have an O. Orange. Somebody likes orange. Oranges or something to do with orange. Um, lay. Lay. Feels like L E Y or Millie or Millie or Mel. Millie. <laughs> Hi, Mel. Called you out. She's probably not going to hear. I don't even know. Sometimes Millie gets tired because she works so hard. <laughs> she does. But who doesn't, right? Bran. Brandy. Or someone's eating Bran. Okay. Orange County, I just heard. Orange County. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Let's move on to your charms. What the hell? You have two rabbits. One's in a tux. It might be you and your person are both born in the year of the rabbit. That's a nice match. But we have a, t a rabbit who's in a tux and then a, a pink rabbit. Who's not in anything. Somebody's upgrading. <laughs> or showing up. Somebody's showing up. Like dressed to the nines. I'm hearing. Going somewhere. Showing up somewhere. Dressed to the nines. Or, or there's a rabbit show. And someone's dressing up the rabbit. For a rabbit, rabbit show. Is there such a thing as a rabbit show? Like, like a dog show? A rabbit show? So I do feel like there's. They're just telling me there's two people that are really not in each other's leagues. So one is like real high society and the other is not. Or one person lives on the west side, the other person lives on the east, like other side of the tracks kind of energy. Two very like opposites. Hello, Paula, Abdul. We go together. Opposites attract. There's some type of opposite energy between two people. Very opposite. Not a likely duo. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So the last thing you have. Like I said, December is going to be significant. We have candy canes. Candy canes, candy girl. You're my world. Remember that song? <laughs> that's, that's a bop. Let me tell you what. That's a bop. That was a bop. That was a great song. Not capping. 
Okay, candy canes. Candyland, playing Candyland with a child. Something to do with candy canes or peppermint or mint. Maybe you're chewing some gum. Smelling so fresh and so clean. Ain't nobody dope like me. I'm so fresh and so fresh and so clean. All right. Is there any more? No, that's it. We're done. All right, you guys. So good luck. I hope this gives you a little bit of insight. I just want to say thank you to Jocelyn Wilkinson for uh, becoming a member. We have Kimmy. Thanks for rejoining. Lori Beth. Thank you for re rejoining. Ella Michelle. L. Michelle, Jerry Mann, I think I, I called you guys up. I'm going to call you out again. Brenda Gaddy, we have Sheesh, Amelia Joel Baba, Anita Roman, Aina, Tiana Gutsmore. Right? Thank you everyone for joining the HOV membership. I hope that you guys are all participating in the chat, but if you're not, totally understandable not an obligation or requirement to do so but i appreciate you being here and being part of the virgo gang and uh thank you everyone for your super chats and your gifted memberships also greatly appreciate that you know every little penny is good for the channel um yeah so don't forget personal readings i'm doing personal text message readings throughout the summer which means pretty much like I don't know why my booking site goes like a day or so ahead. I'm trying to fix that so you can get it same day because just text reading. Um, I'm going to keep working on that. But if you um, if you book your reading, your text message reading, make sure you put in the um, notes, like your, mess, your, your questions that you want to ask me. Um, you can send me an email if you're like, you know what? I have more than five questions. I want to ask 10. Let me know and then we'll figure out a, a price for you. Also, um... Like I had somebody today where she had a reading and she had more questions. So um, instead of waiting two days to ask more questions, she just booked another session and for the two days, but I answered all her questions like right then and there. So, yo, I'm open, I'm open. There's also an emergency phone call reading there. If anybody is in like a SOS situation going on and you need a reading super fast, like right now, so definitely you can check that out so it's a bit up there in price but that's pretty much me getting right back to you right away so if you're interested in that check that out anyway yeah thanks for being here thank you mods love you guys shout out to persephone steve-o jason steve b melly i know charity is here hope i didn't forget anybody i'm so terrible with that um yeah thank you everybody for being here and uh, i'm just rambling on i'll see you all back here tomorrow for your weekend messages. Have a great night. Love you. Take care.